constantly playing from behind, and that's been tough. This one is rifled into the rookie, Justin Jefferson. And as you heard Christina say before kickoff, the New Orleans native or in this area picks up 10 and another first down. Yeah, and so what happens is you find yourself at the end of the He's gotten his chances. He's played well. Quick setup and throw. Thielen trying to make a move, and Lattimore with the open field tackle. But a gain of seven on first. Peyton and Dennis Allen, the defensive coordinator, wondering if they're going to stiffen up and play the run better. It's been two bad weeks against the run for the Saints. Lattimore makes that play as he knocks it away from Jefferson, second down and 10. Yeah, now Marshawn Lattimore, when they're in man coverage, he is going to go with Justin Jefferson, which is different from what it has been in previous matchups against the Vikings, because when it was Thielen and Diggs, Marshawn Lattimore would go with Thielen because Thielen's the bigger receiver. They like Janoris Jenkins on. They're trying to get the ball up the field on a little out and up by Justin Jefferson and give him a chance against Marshawn Lattimore. Lattimore plays that really well. He also, speaking of Pro Bowls, was voted into the Pro Bowl this year, and her cousin wisely just gets rid of it. Third down. Pass is incomplete. And there's that combo again with Lattimore covering Jefferson. It's fourth down. They start him in the slot, and it gives you a lot of field. You know, and that's what Kirk Cousins is seeing. Now, if he presses that a little bit more, it gives Cousins a little bit more season low, four and a half yards a play. So the Saints did play him really well. Here's your boy Thielen, and he gets flipped. Marshawn Lattimore was on the ground, and that pass led Thielen right to him. And then Thielen did a flip after getting 19 yards. Well, Lattimore fell down on the other side, oh. and he just happened to be on the ground right where Thielen was coming across. Wow. So they, they, they changed things up a little bit. This time they got Janoris Jenkins on Thielen, but you see Lattimore go down as he's covering Jefferson, and, and that was right where... Great presented by GMC. Justin Jefferson coming off a record-setting game breaking the record held by Randy Moss with his incredible rookie year in 1998 as the team record for most catches by a rookie. And he didn't start until we three. Norris Jenkins, who did this route by Phelan, he totally jukes him out. And then is Janoris Jenkins. Second down and three, play action. Phelan. Out of bounds here to 35. 23-yard completion from Cousins to Thielen. Well, they bracket Justin Jefferson. He's taking it deep. They're going to get a shot on him, but Thielen, Janoris Jenkins just has not been able to stay with him. You see Justin Jefferson. They've got two-on-one on, on him, making sure that he doesn't get down the field. And then Cousins reads it perfectly, and Thielen, man. What Vikings in over nine years. And the most rushing yards allowed by the Vikings in over 15 years. As Cousins tries to hurry it up with his team down 18. Pass is dropped in beautifully to Thielen for a first down. 17 yards. Really nice job by Kirk Cousins dropping this in. He, he feels the pressure by Malcolm Jenkins coming off the edge and, you know, fitting five games and, and been hit way too much all year. He gets rid of it quickly here. Pass is caught and a first down carry after the catch by Justin Jefferson. Born in St. Rose, Louisiana, went to Destrehan High School and won a national championship on this field 11 months ago for that stacked, incredible LSU team. And what a find at the 22nd pick in this most recent draft. He is a star. And takes it down near the 15. Cousins pass is incomplete for Jefferson. Lattimore on him. He 
the right idea. They're trying to run a natural pick with the man coverage. They don't execute it too well. To the Jets. Well, that's that was almost where I went. <laughs> Fourth down and goal. Cousins out to his right, throws, pass caught, but touchdown, Thielen. Jenkins is pleading his case, saying he forced Thielen out before Thielen got it across the goal line, and now the two teams the players start to shove. Yes. And Thielen and Malcolm Jenkins are yelling at each other. Well, that was close to no touchdown. But the call on the field is touchdown Vikings. Yeah, I want to get a closer look at this and see yeah. exactly how this play ended up. Well, I first touched when that ball does break the plane. And it's nah, that's really a pretty good look there. It's a touchdown. After the play, personal foul, unnecessary roughness, defense number 20, that penalty is declined. Personal foul, unnecessary roughness, defense number 27. That penalty is accepted. It will be enforced half the distance of the goal on the try. It will be a two point try from the one yard line. So they're going to go for two. It was a fourth down play, and that shot down the line looked like the ball may have broken the plane and uh, a good call by the official who was getting run down on the play as well. Yeah. So the two point try to make it a 10 point game from the one instead of the two because of the personal foul. Quick set up and throw Jefferson can't get it with Lattimore on him. And it stays a 12 point game. Just a little too much. He, he gets that left hand extended out, almost is able to pull it back into himself and make a play on it, and just not quite able to. Malcolm Jenkins had pressure on that play on top of it. Well, Justin Jefferson has been talking this week about how he's a team player and Mike Zimmer who's about as forthright and honest a head coach as any we talk to just loves him so there's no diva to this guy at all in fact Justin Jefferson said that his microphones picked up his frustration last week and that loss on a throw into the end zone from Cousins and the loss to Chicago and where they have found a guy who may very well become the, the big threat in the division, if not the league, in up to the winless Jets to fall behind Seattle in the division. The head to head matchup coming up on Sunday as Cousins has to throw it away. Demario Davis right there in his face. The BA's broadcast associates. Here's Cousins in the pocket, throws incomplete. Third down coming up. Technical producer. Let's see what happened to him. Oh. Grabbing at the back of his right leg and. Well that's a good sign there that. Maybe is a cramp but. Yeah I was worried the knee the way that he buckled but the way that he reached down to kind of stretch it out that's that's positive. He followed his older brothers Jordan and Ricky to LSU. the number 22 overall pick six catches 85 yards from Louisiana but on the losing end here today a minute 33 left fourth and ten they set up a screen for Thielen and he's short knocked down by Swearinger and Sean Payton have beaten the Vikings 52 to 33 These two guys, very good friends.